Um, today's agenda, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about Member Factory. We're going to find out what it is, how you can use it, and you're going to even get to see me do a live demo on how to use it. And I'm going to sneeze, so hold on. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Got it. Okay, that was done. Now we won't have any more sneezes for the whole webinar. Yay us. But we're going to talk about Member Factory. We're going to do a live demo. And then at the end, we're going to do a question and answer session. And you're going to find out more about some neat things that we have available for you through Invanto and Member Factory. So what is Member Factory? Let's go ahead and get started. So Member Factory is everything you need to build a profitable membership site. And it's got so many features. There's actually no way that I can list all the features. But the features that I like the best are on this list. And that is that you can create multiple membership sites from one dashboard. I absolutely love that. I'm going to show you that in the demo. Uh, you can also drip feed content. This is a, a concept that is so exciting and, and it's so powerful um, that once you understand drip feed, um, I don't know about you guys, but my mind exploded with what you could do with drip feed. Uh, but what it allows you to do is organize your content so that it releases at certain time intervals. So instead of a membership site where every bit of your content is available immediately, you can actually set it up so that it is available um, at time intervals so that they don't see all of it at once. So for example, you might release a module one in week one, and then a module two in week two, and a module three in week three, and they can't work ahead. They can only work uh, uh, whatever you release to them. So it's really exciting that you can drip feed content. Also, everything is hosted on the Amazon cloud, so you don't have to pay for hosting. That's huge because that's going to save you a ton of money. You can also control your branding, which means that you pick out the colors you want to use on your site, your logos. Um, you can make it your brand, your colors, your site. It's absolutely incredible what you can do and powerful how you can make that membership site look. It also has wonderful email templates, all kinds of email templates that go out. And not only are they templates that go out to your clients, but you can actually edit them and change them and make them according to your brand and uh, put things in there that you want to say in those emails. So again, a lot of power just in that feature alone. And then you're going to be able to manage your members, you're going to be able to manage your content, and you're going to be able to manage your menus. <laughs> and I know that sounds funny, but you can create custom menus inside your member factory um, and you can send them to uh, any page in the membership site, a static page, even an outside URL page. So it's absolutely incredible how you can control that menu and, uh, and really get down and dirty with how you want that site to look. And then one of my favorites is it's mobile responsive. So you can have your people accessing your membership site from a mobile device. That is absolutely insane. And there's so much more. I feel like I'm doing an infomercial. <laughs> there's so much more available to you, and I cannot wait to show you the demo. So let's take a look at some of the other sites that actually use Member Factory. An example is Delta Pearls. So let's jump into Delta Pearls. Um, let me tell you about it first. It's actually a jewelry company that is like a home-based business opportunity. And what it uh, allows people to do is sign up, sell the jewelry, similar to Avon or Tupperware, but uh, they have a training site available for their consultants that's built in Member Factory. And this is actually a screenshot of the training area. So let's go ahead and jump into that training area real quick, and we'll take a look at it. And you can actually see it in progress. So here's the Delta Pearl site. And all I do, if I was a consultant, I'd go over here to become a consultant, and then I would choose training. And this is the actual training site that is available to Delta Pearls consultants. This is my login, so I just log in right here, and bam, I'm in the training area. And then all I do is access the information, and um, I'm good to go. Very exciting, very easy, and all my consultants uh, that are in here can jump in and get their training very easily. 
through Member Factory. Um, and it's uh, very, very easy to set up and very exciting to have that available for the consultant. So that's Delta Pearls. Then there's a second site you can see that's called Appreneur Pro. And this is a site that is a six week training course on how to build mobile applications for iPhone, Android, and Kindle. And that six week program is actually built in Member Factory. And the way they get in is they just go to the member area. And when they get to the member, member area, they just log in. And I've got a ton of logins here. But choose login. And here they are in the training area. And they just choose uh, which area they want to go into. And they can get started. And it is absolutely incredible some of the training that's available to them and uh, how it's set up. This is another one that is uh, drip fed. So when they first sign up, the only thing they get is day one, and then day two, they get the second day of information, day three, they get the third day of information, and they also get week one. And then at the start of the second week, they'll get week two, at the start of the third week, they'll get three. It's important in this particular program that they only get drip fed what they need so they don't work ahead and miss things that are important. So in this case, drip feed becomes really, really important to the uh, process of training these people to be able to build mobile applications. So that's Appreneur Pro, very, very exciting. So now that we've talked about some examples of people that are building uh, membership sites, let's go ahead and jump into Member Factory and take a look at the actual platform. So I'm gonna go to the Invanto platform and I'm logged in as myself, of course. And as you can see, when I log in, I've got access to three apps. I've got access to Member Factory, CoTrack, and Reward Burst. Now, I just want to give you a heads up that there's going to be another webinar on CoTrack, and you don't want to miss that, and another webinar on Reward Burst, and you definitely don't want to miss that because these are two very powerful platforms that can work in tandem with Member Factory. So you want to make sure you attend those, those uh, webinars. But let's talk about Member Factory. Now, one of the things that I experience when I purchase a new software product, the first thing I look for is stellar support because you're going to need that to be able to make sure you're learning how to use that product. And Invanto does a fantastic job with giving you training videos and uh, detailed information. So let's take a look at some of the features that they have. So the first thing on this right-hand side of the member factor area is something called details. And if you click that, it takes you to this particular page where it tells you all of the details and the features of member factory. And there's a lot of them. And this is one of my favorite features here is that you can connect with your favorite apps. So if you use MailChimp or Stripe, or Infusionsoft, GetResponse, Aweber, it actually um, integrates with all of those, which is wonderful. And then you can see that it's more than just a membership site builder. It's got so many features that I love this. It will rock your world, and it, it really does. It's amazing. It's got a futuristic design. It centralizes your business processes. You've got everything happening in one control panel, which is fantastic. If you integrate Member Factory with Reward Burst, you're going to be able to offer your members reward points. And then once they earn those reward points by doing things like logging in or commenting on a lesson, then they can use those points to go to the digital store and you can make things available for them to purchase with those points. So it's like engagement, customer engagement on steroids. It's absolutely amazing. We also have a really robust API. And we always try to make sure that we're creating more features and new apps so that not only do you get what you pay for, but you get much, much more. Invento is a company that believes in under-promise and over-deliver, and they really do. Um, so that is the detail area. That'll tell you a lot about Member Factory. But then in the tutorial area, that's another area that is incredible um, because it gives you information on everything you need to create a membership site. So here we're in the tutorial for Member Factory. And if I scroll down, you'll see that I'm in the step one of the site wizard. 
And in this tutorial, it walks you through step one. And not only does it give you uh, screenshots, which is great because I need screenshots, but it also tells you in bold the name of each field and then explains each field, which is wonderful. So it gives you detailed information on how to get that membership site set up. It also gives you, again, plenty of screenshots so you see exactly what's going on and then defines everything for you. So I think it's an incredible tool to help you get that membership site built up and running and accepting customers as fast as possible. And then the other area, if the details area doesn't answer your questions and the tutorial area doesn't answer your questions, then we've got an actual forum. If you'll click answers, it takes you to the member factory forum. And in here, you can actually post your question and our incredible team of experts jump in and they answer your question and hopefully get you on the right track to get that membership site up and running. So it's very exciting that all three of those, to me that's the trifecta, you've got the details about the product so you hopefully go in really knowing what you can do with this product because you can see all the features. Then once you get in, you're going to see all kinds of tutorials that are available for you. And if the tutorials don't answer your questions, then of course go onto the forum. So incredible support and I'm super excited about it. So now let's go into Member Factory and see what it looks like inside. So I'm gonna click Access. And that gives me access to my project dashboard. And as you can see, I've got lots of projects here. I love Member Factory and I love creating new member uh, membership sites. So this is where I'm going to see all of my membership sites and to create a new membership site it's so easy all I do is go to this button called create new site so I'm going to go ahead and do that now and when I choose that button what it's going to do is it's going to open up the member site wizard and it's going to give me uh, one two three steps so all I do is these three steps to be able to create my membership site so I'm going to go ahead and create a membership site and I actually love to go skydiving so I'm going to create a skydiving membership site. So I'm going to call it Skydiving Diva and I'm going to enter a site description. This site teaches you all you need to know about skydiving. I'm going to choose the English language. I'm going to choose US dollars. And then it builds a site slug for me. And what that is, is a, like a temporary URL that's generated by the system that you can use until you map your own domain to this URL. So this is just a temporary address for you to use, internet address, until you get your domain mapped. And we actually have wonderful videos showing you how to map your domain so that you can use something like skydivingdiva.com instead of this slug name. You can also set up a sales page URL. What this allows you to do with the sales page URL is when a customer goes into your membership site, they can actually take a look at other products that you have available. If you put a sales page URL in here, when someone's on one of your, one of your other membership sites, they'll see uh, this sales page available take a look at your other products as well so that's an incredible tool to upsell and cross sell and down sell and side sell <laughs> so it's a really great way to really promote some of your other products as well and then site settings right here you want to make sure that you enable your site you can also show a progress bar um, and that shows the progress of your completion of each uh, each lesson if you're using this as a course like site and then you can enable priority I love this feature because if you want to have multiple membership plans for example you want a bronze silver and gold you can set up priorities so that bronze is a one silver is a two and gold is a three and what that would mean with priority is that everyone that's in the bronze program only sees bronze content because it's a one Everybody in the silver program can see silver and bronze because it's a two, silver is a two. And then in the gold program, because it's a three, they can see gold, silver, and bronze content. So it allows you the ability to upsell. 
to give you an example, let's say that you've got a wonderful site on skydiving and the bronze level is just information on how to find the right skydiving places and stuff like that. The silver level is videos on how to uh, get your uh, parachute folded and the right flight equipment and all that kind of stuff. And then the gold level is one-on-one -on -one coaching on how to um, how to set yourself up for skydiving. So each one of those would be a higher level of cost. And obviously at the bronze level, you don't want them to see the silver and gold. But at the gold level, you want them to see silver and bronze. So priority system is a really neat system to use. So you can enable that. You can also enable lesson completion notifications. And in this particular feature, what happens is if you've got your site set up like a course-like site, you can uh, enable these completion notifications so that when they complete a lesson, they get an email that says, congratulations, you've completed this lesson. But in Invento, we never do anything small, and we don't want you to think small. So you've got the ability to edit that completion notification. We want you to think bigger than just, congratulations, you finished. We want you to think about how you can reward them for finishing the, note, the, the lesson. So in that email, maybe send them a link to a, a, a reward like a document or a video or something like that that is a, a really neat reward for finishing that lesson. Um, it's thinking above and beyond, and it's keeping your people engaged and keeping your people excited about what they're involved in with your product. So you can turn that on and enable those completion notifications and then reward them for completing your course-like lessons if you're using this particular member factory as a course-like membership site. So once I have all those, all those uh, fields completed, I can actually click Next. The next thing that we have available is the payment gateways. And we've got a lot of them. This is really exciting because we've got PayPal uh, offered, but we also offer Stripe, JVZoo, which is a big one. That one's really exciting to me because now you can start getting your affiliate army built so that you can have other people sell your membership site for you and make you money, which is incredible. Um, we've also got ClickBank, which is again like a JVZoo. You can get your affiliate army set up. Um, it integrates with Thrivecart and also G Digistore24. So you can enable any of these and actually get them uh, set up so that they are working in your site. And you can have multiple, so you can set up PayPal and Stripe. So it's really exciting what you can do. So I'm going to click Next. And the last step is the Review and Finish step. And all I do is make sure I've got my information in there that I wanted, including the site name, currency, the slug URL, and remember we can map that to a specific domain name later on. Then I make sure that my site settings are the way I want them. We did not set up any payment gateways, but we could have if we wanted to. Once all that is okay, we just click finish. And now it takes just a minute or two while in the background, those little hamsters are running in the wheels to, <laughs> to build your site. And it's absolutely incredible how fast this site will be set up for you and ready to go and ready to accept your content. So the next step is actually to start looking at building your uh, site, building your membership plans and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just kind of wait a second for the site to be built and it doesn't take long, very exciting. And you want to make sure during that step that you don't leave that page so you don't uh, mess up the site setup. But now as you can see, just took a minute and our site is up and running. Now, the site doesn't have any content in it, right? We haven't put any content in it yet. We've just got the shell of a site built and ready for some content. And one of the things that Invanto's done that I think, again, is above and beyond, remember they under-promise and over-deliver, and that is they've set up a checklist for you so that you can see exactly what you need to do next. So let's go ahead and check out that checklist. All I do is click on it. And on the left hand side, you'll see that I've got lots of things listed as the next things I need to do in order to get my site set up. So it even keeps progress uh, on 
the site for me. So as you can see, I'm at 0% now. So I have a, a few things to do to get it set up. So it tells me that I need to first create content category and then a content page. I need to set up my payment gateway because we didn't do that in the site wizard. And I also need to set up membership plans. I need to add my company logo. I need to map my custom domain. And then I need to learn how to check my order status. So all kinds of neat things. If I wanted to uh, do the content category, I could click right here and it would tell me uh, what I need to do for content category. So I'm going to close that right now. To close it, I just click this X right here and I'm back to my main dashboard. So there's a few things I want to show you now that we've created kind of the shell of our membership site. I've got some other features that I want to set up before I actually put my content in. So I'm going to go all the way over here to more and here are my site details. I can change those at any time. So let's take a look at the site details. This is the information that we put in during our site wizard, but there's actually a little bit more information down here that you can add. You can add a pen name. So if you want your name and your email to look different than the default that's in the system, you can set that up there. You can also set up a Facebook link, LinkedIn, YouTube, and even Twitter. Those are valuable tools you can use to get your branding. So that's important to set up. You can also click settings. And again, we saw these in the site wizard. You can change those if you want to. And then of course, tracking. If you've got some conversion pixels that you want to add to be able to track visitors, etc., you can put those there. And then once those are done, you can click save. Those are incredible features right there for sure. And then we can go back to more and I can go to membership plans. This is an important step because you want to make sure you're adding your plans. And remember for this site, we talked about a bronze, a silver, and a gold level. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to add those as membership plans in the member factory system. So it's taking just a minute to load. So we'll let it kind of think a minute. And remember that the membership plans can be whatever you want them to be. If you only want one level and you don't want to block off levels, you can do that. If you want multiple levels, you can do that. Also, if you have multiple courses and you want to put them in the same membership site, you can just create membership plans per course. So if you've got a course on uh, skydiving, uh, the best equipment, then that's one course. You can set that as a membership plan. And then if you've got skydiving the best locations as a course, you can put that as a membership plan. So it's really, it depends on how you want to set up your website um, and your membership site. And it takes a little bit of thinking to make sure that you set it up the exact way that you want it. So here we are in membership plans and I'm going to choose add a new plan. And for this plan, I'm going to just call it the bronze plan. And I'm going to set the price at $20. And I can set up a, a return URL. This is another neat feature that Invento's done that, again, to me is above and beyond. What it allows you to do is set up a return URL so that when they're done paying for the bronze plan, they'll automatically get, automatically get sent to this URL. So in effect, it's like a funnel. It is a funnel. And for example, let's say that they bought the bronze plan and you want to offer them a discounted rate for the silver or the gold. So you could send them to another URL to offer them an upgrade to silver and gold before they log in. So that's the way you can use this as a really neat funnel to be able to get upsells if you want to. You can also set priority. Remember we talked about that if you've got the different levels. We talked about bronze would be the level one because it would be the lowest level available. You can also set up an autoresponder. If I had an autoresponder set up, it would appear in this box and I could choose which one I wanted to send anybody that signed up for the bronze plan to which list I wanted to send them to. And you can send each membership plan to a different list. So in say get response, I might have a list that is bronze plan for the skydiving program, silver plan for the skydiving program, and gold plan for the skydiving program. 
so that each group, each membership plan is getting a different set of emails. You can absolutely do that in this, uh, in this program. And then external product ID, this is just for your use. And, <coughs> excuse me. And another feature that is absolutely incredible that I love that Inventos done is it has the feature of asking for their physical mailing address and asking for their phone number. Now I know if you're in marketing for your business, you've heard many, many times that the money's in the list. Well, Invento has now made your list more valuable because not only are you going to have the email address, but you can also choose to get the mailing address and the phone number from each person that signs up. So that's an incredible feature. I'm going to go ahead and check that because it's incredibly valuable to me. Then I'm going to choose to click on description. And I can describe the bronze plan here if I want to. Then I can also choose the frequency, how often this particular plan is billed. Is it a one-time billing or is it a recurring billing? If it's recurring, how many times until we stop? Or is it unlimited charges so you keep building? You keep billing the customer. And then the billing frequency. Are you billing every 30 days, every one day? Or are you billing every 365 days, which would be once a year? So you can choose the billing frequency. And then you can choose to expire the billing. Um, so in this particular case, it's expiring the same as the billing frequency. What that means is at the end of 30 days, if it does not charge and the charge is approved, then the billing will, not only will the billing uh, end, but the membership ends. <laughs> and they will have to re-sign up to be able to be a part of the system. So um, that is a great way to automate everything so that you don't have to go in every month and see that so-and-so didn't pay, so you have to cancel their membership. It automatically happens in this, inside the system, which is great. You can also offer a trial period. And when you offer a trial period, you can offer a trial price of $0 or whatever dollars you want to charge for a trial. And then you can also offer a trial period. You can offer 30 days. And you can offer anything from one day all the way to 365 days, which is an incredible uh, period for a trial. Um, but I think it's insane that you can offer a trial period for your membership site, which is great. And then, of course, above and beyond a tracking, tracking pixel or conversion pixel. And that allows you to track your visitors and see where they're coming from. So once you've got all this information filled out, all you do is click Save. And we now have a bronze plan, which is absolutely incredible. That was very easy to do and um, almost uh, painless, <laughs> which is great. And now that we've got the bronze plan, let's go ahead and create another plan. So we're going to go to membership plans. And I'm going to add a new plan, and I'm going to create a silver plan. And the silver plan we're going to put for $50 and everything is set up. I'm going to ask for address and phone number and click save. And then I'm going to do one more plan, which is the gold plan. So I'm going to add a plan. And under the gold plan, I'm going to make that $100. And I'm going to ask for address and phone number, and then click Save. So now I have three plans in my system, uh, which are bronze, silver, and gold. And here's the incredible thing, is for each plan, I can scroll all the way over to the side, and I can choose to edit the plan if I want to make some changes, or if I don't like that plan and I want to delete it, I just click the trash can and delete it. But over here, these are the related links. So these are the links I'm going to use for my customers to click to be able to join these membership plans. So for the bronze plan, I'll uh, right click and copy link address and then I can put that in a website like a sales page or something like that. Let's go ahead and click the bronze plan and we'll see what the checkout page looks like. So this is the checkout page. And remember the details, it says $20 every 30 days until canceled. 
And here's the great thing about it. It asks for their name, their email, their address, city, state, zip, and country. So that makes your email list even that more incredible because you've got that information in it. So we are super excited that you're going to be able to build your email list and also have that additional information in that list. So if you want the silver plan, you'll right click and copy this link address and add it to your website. Let's click it and take a look at what it looks like. So the silver plan is $50 and we didn't set up for automatic uh, recurring payment and then it asks for that additional information. So absolutely incredible the information that you can pull just by setting up your checkout page correctly. So now that we've got membership plans, let's take a look at what else we can do. Payment gateways, remember we didn't set that up in the site wizard, so we can go back here and set it up anytime we want to. So uh, we, we've also got test mode for all of these plans, so that is incredible because then you can be able to test your each membership plan and how it's working. Then we've got autoresponders, and with autoresponders it's very easy to set up. You just click add new and it allows you to set up an uh, autoresponder from just about any autoresponder you can imagine. It just copy and paste the form code and then you can map the fields and you want to map the name field and the email field. Very easy to do. Once it's done you click save and your autoresponder appears here. You can choose multiple lists and then assign a list for each membership plan so that the bronze members are going into a different list than the silver and the gold. So that's pretty incredible. Then we've got static pages. Your welcome page is a static page, so you can change that. You can also add additional static pages, and those might be handy when you're working on creating uh, custom menus. So each of these static pages become a, a tool you can use, and you can add them to your custom menus. And here are the site menus. So you can actually create a menu for the top area, for the side area, and for the footer area. So the header, the side, and the footer. You can manipulate all those. You can add a menu item for a specific category, for a specific menu page, member page, a static page, or even a URL link. So let me tell you how powerful these custom menus are. I absolutely love them. I use them all the time because um, Otherwise, you're going to get the standard menu, which is the outline of all of the information that's available in your membership site. But if you do a custom menu, you can customize it per membership plan. So each membership plan would see a completely different menu depending on how you set it up. Very powerful and definitely thinking outside of the box. I love it. So then we'll go to email templates. These are all the emails that are available to send out to your clients and you can edit them and I love the fact that we've got the dynamic toolbar that allows you to edit um, each of these emails uh, however you want them to look. So you can do bold and italic, you can align left, center, or right, um, you can bullet text, you can indent, indent text. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible what you can do, but the other thing you can do is you can personalize these using personalization tags. So right here where you see the name, you see that they're uh, surrounded by brackets, that is going to put the client's name inside this email, which personalizes the email, and I love that feature. You're going to be able to do that with each of these emails. You can also edit however you want to. So you can edit the customer receipt, you can edit the welcome email. You can edit the forgot password email. So if they forgot the password, they'll get instructions on how to um, retrieve their password. They, you can also edit the email that notifies someone that a comment has been placed on a topic that they're watching, which is uh, very nice. And you can also customize that as well. And then subscriptions. Every time there's a new subscription um, that there'll be a notification to the member about it and it's customized with the information about that subscription. So a lot of great information in those email templates that you can customize. And then after email templates we've got Site Designer. This is another really neat feature that allows you to uh, customize your site 
and it allows you to pick a template. We've got several templates available. Um, the default template is the Enigma, but you can choose any one of these. You can actually take a look at it by clicking Demo. So let's go ahead and demo this one. And once it loads, you can kind of see the colors that it has and the format that it has. If you like it, you just go ahead and choose install and it will install that theme for you um, with nothing more done it's that easy so you can really change the look of your site just by a click but then if you really want to customize it more we've got these tabs across the top so you can go into the general tab and it allows you to put your site logo on there your site image it has a banner image it allows you to select where that banner is going to be positioned on the screen you can determine how high your logo is, the width of your logo, background color, and even the layout. You can choose full layout or you can choose a box layout. Um, so you can play with all those settings to see what you like for your site. You can also change the settings in the header, including the colors. And you can change the top menu, the sidebar, the content area, and even the footer. So you can see how incredibly powerful this site designer is. And again, this goes back to the branding so that if you've got a logo with specific colors and you want those colors to remain uh, throughout your, your membership site, you can do those colors by changing those colors in this area, the site designer. So the powerfulness of it is, to me, it's just out of bounds. So that's the site designer. The next thing we're going to look at is the checkout designer. Works a lot like the site designer, except you choose which template you want for your checkout page. And then you can go to the settings and change those settings to add your logo. You can display a support section, security seals, a guarantee text, and lots, lots more. It's incredible what you can do in just the settings area. Then you can determine your terms. You can type those out. And again, you've got a dynamic toolbar, toolbar to be able to do that. And you can choose to display those terms or not. You can add additional info. So if you've got additional information that you want people to know as they're checking out, you can put that information in this section. And then, of course, design. This is like the, the best part because, again, if you've got branding and you want colors to be consistent throughout your membership site, you can actually change those colors to match your logo and your branding uh, ideas. So absolutely powerful what you can do. And the design for checkout and the design for the site is really fun to play with. And uh, it gives you a lot of power in the design of your site. So going to more, um, the last thing we're going to talk about as far as more settings is domain mapping. And in domain mapping, this is where you're going to map that site slug to an actual uh, main domain. So I could actually have uh, www.skydivingdiva.com and map it to this URL, and nobody would see this URL. They would only see skydivingdiva.com. So that's a great tool. We have wonderful tutorials on how to map your domain using your uh, domain hosting service and how to set that up. So no worries, we've got step-by-step -step tutorials, very, very easy to do. So that is the more section, and you can imagine that's a lot of stuff, and it's very, very easy to use. But now that we've got some member plans, membership plans built, let's go ahead and look at how we can add content to our site. Because of course, that's the thing we want for our customers is giving them content. So let's go to the content area. And in the content area, the first thing that we need to do is decide on some categories. That's the first thing we need to do. So when this page look up when this page opens up, there it is. The first thing I see is that we've got an uncategorized section. That's default. That's going to be there all the time. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a category. And the first category I'm going to make is skydiving equipment. Okay, so this is where I'm going to put information about how to get the right skydiving equipment. It creates a slug for me automatically, and then I can enter a description. So 
So this module will teach you the equipment you need for skydiving. And I have the option to enable this category. If you were uh, building the category and you had existing clients and you didn't want them to see it yet, you could disable it if you wanted to. Then I'm going to click Mapping. And here's where the magic comes in. Is in this category, I can choose to make it available to gold, silver, or bronze. I can do all of them or even none of them. But I'm going to make it available to all of them. And then I can choose to drip it. And this is, again, a valuable feature that's in Member Factory. And it allows you to drip your content over a certain number of days, weeks, or months. So I can choose to drip feed this on the first day, the second day, the third day, all the way up to 720 days. So it gives you a lot of power to drip feed. And then also, it allows you to choose a commencement date. So let's say you wanted everybody to start their dripping on the same day so they get the content, all of the uh, content on the same days. You can actually choose a commencement date. So let's say you chose July the 6th and then you want it to drip on the second day. Well, what it's going to do is this program will start on the uh, July the 6th, but this content for this category won't drip until the second day. So it won't drip until um, the 7th or 7th or 8th, probably 7th. Um, but that kind of gives you an idea of the power of the drip. Um, you can drip based on the day that they join or based on a commencement date that you put in. Very powerful. And then you can also add an image. So when you add an image to this category, you can choose Upload. And you can choose to upload from your local machine or even from your Dropbox. So wherever you want to upload from, you can actually upload. So let's go ahead and save this and now I've got a category that I can start with let's go ahead and do another category and I'll call it skydiving locations and this module Alright, so this module will show you the best locations for skydiving. I'm going to enable it. Again, I have mapping available. I'm going to make it available to the bronze, silver, and gold plans. I'm not going to drip feed it. And for now, I'm not going to add an image. And I'm going to click Save. So now I've got two categories that I'm working with, including skydiving equipment and skydiving locations. So these are just categories. There's no content in there yet. So the next step I have to do after I made the categories is I have to add pages. So I'm going to go ahead and add a page. And when I add a page, this is where I'm going to actually put my content, what my clients are going to see when they access the membership site. So let's go ahead and wait till it loads for us. Great. And now we have a new page, and I'm going to title this page um, Parachutes. And here's the author. You have to choose an author, and you have to choose a category. I'm going to choose uh, skydiving equipment because that's where parachutes would fall. It creates a slug for me, and it allows me to choose a layout. I can choose default layout, or I can choose a plain layout. I'm going to choose default. You can play with these settings and see kind of how they look. Also, status is really key. You can choose to publish this immediately, or you can keep it in draft mode, and that way it won't show to anyone until you decide to publish it, and then everybody can see it. I'm going to choose Published, and then I'm going to choose Save. So now I've got this page created, and I've got some more information that I can do with it. So I can choose to add a summary if I want to, I can, again, drip feed it if I want to. I can allow comments. And comments are a great way to allow people to um, engage in conversation concerning that particular, uh, that particular item, like parachutes. 
and uh, and then also using reward burst if they comment they get points and they can use those points in the store to purchase things that you've allowed them to purchase with points so it just kind of creates an engagement for your membership site really fun to do um, and then you can also allow this as a free uh, as well so if someone is wanting to join your site for free um, they don't want to pay you can create some content that kind of gives away just enough value that they understand that they need more and they can then join um, at another membership level. So you also have the ability to add your content by clicking the content tab and you've got some a great dynamic toolbar that allows you to uh, format your text. You can also add pictures, you can add video, um, you can change your text color, you can put background color, it's absolutely amazing the tools that you have right here to make your pages really dynamic and beautiful. You can also click on video and you can upload a video into your page which is lovely. You can also add the video right on the content page so it's really um, wherever you want to add it and you just have to play with the system a little bit to figure out where you want to add it. Um, you can also add audio files, you can add attachments, you also can complete the notification email right here. You can uh, set it up any way you want it to say what you want. And again, remember, it's in the box just to send the completion notification. It's out of the box to send it with a reward. So make sure you're taking full advantage that you can manipulate these emails. And I want you to see, you can add a link so you can send them a link to a document that you give them or another video that you want to show them or something like that as a reward for finishing. And uh, I think it would be great, out of the box thinking, to do a video for each lesson that they complete where you can not only email them and say congratulations, but when they go to the link that you put in the email, there's a video that says congratulations and it's you. <laughs> so very powerful to use. And then revisions. This is another great thing where you can allow the uh, member factory system to keep revisions for you. So if you make a mistake and you want to go back and change it to a previous version, you can actually do that. So let's go back to details and, uh, and let's go ahead and click save. And now we've saved this page. And remember that we put it in the category of skydiving equipment. So when we actually get this saved and we get to see the um, results of the save, you'll see that it's dropped it into that skydiving equipment category, which is exactly where we want it. So let's take a look at the content. And here's the skydiving equipment, and there's our parachutes page right there. So remember when we went to skydiving equipment, we said that in that, in that category, we want gold, silver, and bronze to be able to access this. So those three membership plans would be able to access the parachutes page. So you can see how powerful it is and how we can actually organize our material so that different membership levels have access to different material, which is really, really exciting. So um, now that you've seen a good example of Member Factory. Let's take a real quick look at the preview of the site. So I'm going to go to preview and that takes us to our sign in. And I'm going to go to Skydiving Diva and log in. And this is what it looks like right now. So I've got my skydiving equipment and I've got my parachutes. And we didn't put anything for content in there, but it does have comments available. So I'm going to go ahead and join the discussion and create a comment. So I'm going to click comment, and I've now added a comment into this particular page. Again, we want our people to be super engaged and always wanting to add to the discussion. So you want to encourage comments, and especially using reward burst. And don't forget, we're going to have a webinar on reward burst, I believe, Tuesday of next week. So don't miss that. But I'm going to go back to my Invento platform. And if you look across the top here, I've got an area called comments. So I'm going to click on that. 
And here's a comment that I just made. Remember, this is a comment from Shelly. So I can choose to delete it, I can unapprove it, or I can actually. Do you see how powerful this is? It's absolutely powerful how you can use it to um, in your system to create engagement. But not only that, I'm going to go down to the bottom right here, and I'm going to write a reply. So I'm going to choose thank you for commenting, and then add reply. So now I've added my reply, and if I go to that site again, I'm going to go to the parachutes page again. And there's my original comment, and there's my reply. So it's actually really exciting. You can create engagement on every single page. Um, and again, if you don't want comments, then you just turn off the comments. But if you want engagement on a page, turn on the comments on that page, and you will get engagement. So it's really, really exciting what you can do just with the comments, right? So now I can choose to add more content if I want to. And again, I do that by adding categories and then adding pages. I can also monitor my members by going to the membership tab. And when I do that, it allows me to add members on the fly. I can also choose to take a look at subscriptions. And when I do that, it allows me to add a member and choose their subscription on the fly. And you've already seen comments and you've already seen all of these items in the more tab. So that is an absolutely incredible thing we have with Member Factory. Now, you can work in multiple sites. I love this feature because right here it shows me that I'm working in the Skydiving Diva site. If I do a drop down, I have all of my sites listed so I can change them on the fly. So if I wanted to work on my I Love Yorkie site, I just change it and it takes me to my I Love Yorkie site. If I wanted to go to my Apprenor Pro site, I can go to that site and it changes it immediately and I'm there just quick look and split and I'm working in that site so lots of neat things that you can do with member factory and let me tell you that the features of member factory are so robust and so incredible that you're going to be able to build an incredible site so now that I've gone through the entire demo and really talked about uh, member factory I want to open it for questions if you have any so if you're online and in chat, I would love for you to jump into chat and send us some questions, and I will be doing my best to answer them, and we'll see if we can help you out with growing your membership site. And give me just a second to jump into questions so I can kind of see some of them. All right, so I see quite a few. So, um, <laughs> I had a question of can I go backwards and add a feature? Um, anything that you set up in the site wizard, you can actually edit if you go into uh, that more right here and then go to site details you can edit anything that you did in the site wizard. So yes, you can go backwards and edit just about anything you've done. So uh, no worries there at all. Um, Michelle from Atlanta says she's excited to be here. Michelle, I am super excited that you are here because I know the potential of Member Factory. And if you're thinking about doing just a, a course-like membership site or even just a full-blown membership site, uh, Member Factory is the way to go. It is super awesome. Um, it says, uh, I got another question, Member Factory and Fresh Member, are they the same membership software? Um, they are, they're not the same, but they're built by uh, the same people. So they took all the good things from Fresh Member and brought them into the Member Factory platform, but they made it even better. So that is really exciting. Um, yay. The checklist feature I did show, that's an exciting feature. Um, where do you put your logo on the sales page? Um, that will end up going in the site details and, and uh, let me go down to that. We've got site designer right here. It's not site details but site designer. When you go into site designer um, then you can go into uh, general and that's where you put your logo and you can upload it right here. 
And then you can also determine your logo height and your logo width. So you can uh, actually manipulate it really well. Um, we've got a, will you be able to send a copy of the session? Yes, a replay will be available and I covered a ton of information. So I know that a lot of you guys will want to take a look at it again and see what did she say about such and such. You can actually go back and take a look, which is wonderful. Um, support desk, we have a Facebook page and we also have a support icon. If you look down here, um, anytime you go to the Inventa site, you should see that. You can actually use that to connect as well. And are the attachments protected? Yes, they are. They are protected, which is wonderful. Um, it says, does the attachment protect protection obfuscate the download link URL and lock it so that only logged in members can access the link and download? Yes. Yes, it is. It is very protected. It is HTTPS protected and all links and downloads are protected. Is there a user history? So knowing which user accesses the system? Right now, there's not, but um, I believe that's a feature that's coming. So no worries, we're always updating Advanto in our products. So um, if that's a feature that you uh, definitely want, you want to jump into that forum and go into that area that asks for additional feature ideas and put that in there. My best guess is somebody's already done that and uh, they're already working on it. So is there a way to link my WordPress website to a specific member checkout so that my sales page is linked to a specific course? Absolutely. Let me show you how we do that. So when you go into the membership plans, so let's go into membership plans. And when we do that, you see for each uh, membership plan, I'm in a different membership site now, but there's an order link for each membership plan. And all you do is right click on that and copy link address and then add that to your WordPress sales page and you're good to go. That'll send them straight to the checkout page. Um, when to use Member Factory versus CoTrack. So Deep has a definition and I have a definition. <laughs> so Deep's definition is you use Member Factory if you've only got a few courses and you want to add them to Member Factory and you can uh, separate them out by doing membership levels. And uh, that way, if you did those few courses in CoTrack, it would look funny because everything in CoTrack is set up by schools. And if you entered a school and it only had um, two, two courses, it would look kind of slim. So um, instead of doing two courses in CoTrack in a school, you'd add them to member factory as different membership levels. So um, that's kind of the difference. If you have many, many courses and you're ready to add them to a school, you'd use CoTrack. Um, I look at it a little bit differently. I look at it as a membership site is a membership site. It's something where you're constantly going to be involved. You're going to be adding content. You want people to um, pay you every month. And to do that, you want to be adding content and making it valuable to your clients. So uh, a membership site is an ongoing recurring payment. Whereas with a course, with CoTrack, it's typically a one-off payment. You create a course, you charge a price for it, they get access to it, and you give them access for however long you want to give them access to it, and it's a one-off payment. So that's, to me, in my mind, the difference. Either way um, is okay. <laughs> you just kind of choose which one works best for you, whether you want to use membership or member factory as a mini course site instead of CoTrack, or if you want it use it as a full-blown membership site where they're actually paying you monthly to access information that you're continually adding, whether it's you're active in the group adding or you're drip feeding. Um, can this serve as my standalone website? No, you're going to have to have a sales page. You're going to have to have a, a sales page that uh, leads them to the different membership levels. Uh, but if you are doing like Facebook marketing, you don't have to have a website. You could actually do the links right in Facebook because all it is is, you know, a link. So you can send them from that link to the checkout page. But if you want to have a truly uh, a good website and, and really educate them on the product that you're offering them, you'll have a sales page available. So you will need a, a website. 
the good thing is that we've got some stuff coming down the pipe in apps that are going to enable you to do um, landing pages and stuff like that so that um, you don't have to have an outside website. That's coming, but that's that's down the line and it will be a while. Um, can you edit the HTML? Let's see, let me find that again because I clicked right through it. You can edit the HTML. You can actually do the um, CSS as well if you're knowledgeable. I wouldn't suggest that you just try it out because, <laughs> because it's not um, specifically you know easy for a newbie but if you are knowledgeable about CSS you can absolutely um, edit it so no no worries there um, can you integrate the at least redirect the pay now button to your chosen payment platform that works in my country um, that one I don't know for sure Vidya and that would be a question for deep for sure I know that uh, PayPal works, Stripe works, and we've got several other options, but anything beyond that, you'd have to talk to the uh, member factory developers. Um, does the return URL take the member to the return URL every time they log in or just after purchase? It is just after purchase, Alan, and it allows you to set up that funnel, which is wonderful. You know, there's a lot of money to be made in a funnel, and I love the idea of offering you know a low level and then when they purchase that low level that return URL, URL takes them to a higher level maybe at a discounted price so you know here thank you for joining the bronze program um, for joining today let me offer you half price for the silver program and so that's how you can use that return URL do uh, member factory coach rack and reward burst all cost separately what is the cost bundled um, that is a uh, question for Deep. I know they're working on some great bundling prices, so um, I will leave that for Deep to answer for sure. Can we create a course section lesson type of content format inside Member Factory? Yep, you sure can. Absolutely. That would be using those categories, and you could absolutely do that. Also, you can, if you don't like the format of it, you can also use those uh, those custom menus, and I do that to organize my stuff because I don't like in one of the sites that I have I don't like the way the default menus are organized and I wanted to have my own menus and put them in the order that I wanted and the way I wanted so I use those custom menus and that worked really well for me um, can I embed from YouTube yes you can you absolutely can you can embed right from YouTube easy peasy does member factory fully integrate with Thrivecart including bumps upsells downsells and recurring billing um, all the information about Thrivecart, I'm not sure, so I will leave that to the, the Thrivecart specialists. Um, can you upload and store your own video files or do you embed your own video HTML code like YouTube? You can um, upload your videos, but they only have to, they're only allowed to be a certain size. Um, if they are above that size, then you can actually just embed them or um, link them or you can add them to YouTube and embed them. I mean, there's a hundred ways you can do it, so um, you really just have to work with it and see which one you like better. Because you know, sometimes when you embed, you don't get the um, all the controls that you want. Um, sometimes when you link, then the streaming is choppy. So just practice and try each different one and see which one works best for you and the way your videos are. Um, can you prevent members from downloading videos added to the content page? Um, yes, you can. The links are, um, they, they're expired links, um, but still it's actually impossible for stopping. I can, I can actually copy any video from any place, anywhere, using screencasting software. So it doesn't even matter. If you've got uh, any type of protection on it, they can still get around it because I'm not a big hacker and I can still hack it and get around it. So um, I'd love to say that we can prevent, you know, all of your material from getting downloaded and hi downloaded and hijacked, but we, we, the reality is we can't. But um, for the membership site, they have to be logged in, so they have to be paid members to get in there anyway. Are the backups of our content something that we have in case something happens to Invanto? Yes, the data is backed up every 30 minutes, which is fantastic. For different memberships, if they are only one price level, or can different plans and, me and member factory be used for different 
uh, memberships if they are only one price level. Uh, I'm not real sure about that, Michelle, because I don't quite understand the question. Maybe Deep can understand that and answer that one. What about integrating Coach Rack courses in member factory membership levels, i.e. course access without additional payment? I think there's some plans in the works to definitely allow them to uh, like cross-pollinate each other. So um, that is something that's coming and it's actually going to be a really good feature. Do you have upsell, downsells on plans and also sophisticated discounts? For example, discount code that expires after an amount of time. So right now we, we don't have the codes and stuff, uh, but I, I believe that's coming. So um, hang in there because that's one that's on the list of things to do. And again, Member Factory under promises and over delivers. So what you're getting in Member Factory now is not what it's going to be a month or two months later. It's going to be bigger and better and more features. So keep giving us those ideas for features so that we can keep adding to what you want for the system. Um, who is our chief competitor? I think there's a lot out there and, uh, and I don't think that anybody can touch Member Factory right now, especially with the personalized attention you're going to get from the developers here at Invanto. They're just absolutely wonderful and you're going to see them present, including me, present in the um, forum. You're going to see them present in the Facebook groups. Just they're everywhere and they answer your questions. Can I integrate or at least redirect the pay now button to my chosen payment platform? Oh, I answered that already. I, that would not a question that I can answer. I know some, including myself, that we're creating PLR or other digital product membership sites. Will you consider doing a webinar dealing with setting up a site specifically for delivering digital products? Absolutely, David. <laughs> We, we love doing webinars here. I love them, and I would be glad to work with you on uh, doing a PLR, Digital Product Membership Site webinar. That would be fun to me. Um, can can visitor, visitors to our site see all our membership levels, or can we hide them? You can absolutely hide them. You can determine who sees what when. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, can you integrate with ConvertKit? an email provider. That one is more of a developer question. That is one that I can't answer, but I'm sure um, Deep will jump in and get you an answer. So hopefully I have answered some of the questions. Let me kind of scroll down and see if there's anyone that I missed. Is there a schedule of upcoming webinars? Yes, Bill, there's uh, another one coming, I believe, Sunday that's going to be on CoachRack. You should see the announcement of it in our Facebook group. And then I believe Tuesday of next week is the reward verse. And uh, both of them are going to be jam packed with uh, demos and showing you exactly how they work, uh, just exactly like uh, what we've done today. So um, no worries. We'll get those posted in the Facebook group and get you uh, signed up for them so you can attend. And I hope to see that. I hope to see you there, Bill. I'm going to be looking for you. <laughs> So while we're going over the questions, I'm going to go ahead and open up a, uh, my PowerPoint again and share with you a very special offer that we have for you today. And I'm super excited about it because it allows you to get a free 45-day account. So let me explain to you how valuable this is. This free 45-day account allows you to have full access to Member Factory and you can build a membership site. You've seen me, you just saw me do it. You can do it in the shell of it in about five minutes and then start adding your content. And let me tell you the value of drip feeding because this is like a ninja move that I want to share with you guys. You can, because of drip feed, let's say you're going to drip once a week. Okay. All you have to do is add enough content to stay ahead of your oldest customer, right? So build one or two weeks of content. And then you can start gaining customers, paying customers. They will pay to access your content. And then just add each week. As long as you're staying ahead of your oldest customer, you'll be golden. And you'll look so professional even though you're kind of adding as you go. So the drip feed concept is a tremendous concept. And, uh, and I want you guys to understand that you don't have to have your membership site like completely built and ready. You can get it started, 
get the beginning content in there and you can start getting paying customers like right away which is really cool um, thank you guys uh, Mayan and Bill I really appreciate y'all being here I've got another question from Raymond it says can I add or authorize online co-workers to publish to my membership site you absolutely can there's actually a team feature in there so you can add team members and you can assign them specific permissions and then assign them to a specific site so that they can only access certain sites that you have and they only have permission to do certain things so you might want them to only be able to add content and nothing else so you only give them that permission and then they can add content as much as they want to this is another way to create um, a great way to get partnerships for yourself so say you find someone that you want to build a membership site with you can be working together to build the site and you can add them as a team member which is incredible um, can my membership site members add content your membership site members don't have uh, they don't have permission to do that unless you add them as a team member if you add them as a team member then they will have permission absolutely how much is the program? If you'll follow the link, Paul, and um, find out from there, it will tell you. And does Member Factory have a support desk feature? Yes. When you go into Member Factory, and um, there's always a button on the bottom right hand side, it's like a little chat button. If you'll click that, um, you can add your question in there for support. Um, but there's also a forum that you can go into as well. So either way, we also have the Facebook group. So if you do have a question, you can post it in the Facebook group. But the best way to do it is either that little chat feature that's on the website itself or in the forum group. Um, either way. And our, our Ninja developers are in those groups. And they will answer your questions as quickly as they can and hopefully as completely as they can so that you can get back to the business of creating your membership site and getting paid customers for sure um, any other questions I, I see so many you guys have some great questions today don't forget that you can go to this particular uh, this particular link bitly slash Shelly 45 and you can get a free 45 day account that's not available anywhere else and you can build a membership site in 45 days in fact, you can build it, drip feed it, get a couple weeks content in there, and get paying customers within 45 days. I've done it, you guys. I've absolutely done it. I could do it in less than 45 days. So you guys have very powerful features available to you, and I'm excited about what you have available for sure. Um, free 45 days, that's incredible. I love it. So any other questions? I am open for questions and uh, love to answer the questions. And I am here for you. I'll keep it open just a couple more minutes since the questions have kind of slowed down a little bit. This is exciting to me. Um, the Delta Pearl site is really exciting. I love the training. Um, site that I've done and uh, and is available to the consultants and then I love the Appner Pro program and how that six-week program is all housed inside member factory and it's drip fed so people cannot work ahead they have to follow each of the lessons as I, I give them out to them so it's absolutely incredible um, Delta Pearl site is actually built on Shopify and then I mapped um, I, well, I didn't map, I don't think. Um, I actually got the site slug and just did a link called training and mapped the site slug to that training so that when they click the training button, it takes them straight to the member factory site. So um, super easy. So the e-commerce part I did in Shopify, but believe it or not, um, there is stuff in the works for e-commerce through Invanto. So there may be a day that we can take Delta Pearls off of Shopify and put it into an Invanto product, which would be super exciting to me. So am I concerned that if Invanto's site goes down, so does your business? Well, I think that's everybody's fear. And whether it's um, hosted on my own servers, on Amazon Web Services, whether it's you know anywhere, there's always that worry. 
um, but these are hosted on Amazon Amazon Web Services AWS. So they're going to be the most stable service uh, providers out there. So you really can't get much better than AWS. So I think that it'll be okay. <laughs> I've had my own WordPress sites that have been <laughs> that have been hacked, and this is another reason why I moved to Member Factory with Invanto is that I'm hosting my own WordPress and membership sites. I, I loved it, and I love building my own sites. I love all of it. But there's when you get hacked, it's up to you to fix it. And I, I'm good, but I hate that diving in there and trying to figure it out. But when I do it through Invanto and I have my membership site through them, I'm not worried about it because they're hosted on, member, on uh, a, a, a Amazon Web Services. I know it's a stable platform. And I know that there's developers backing me up at all times, and I also know that everything's backed up. So if something happened, we just you know restore it from backup, and we'd be good to go really quick. So I'm super excited that I don't have to worry about hackers anymore. Um, another question is, can I post one content piece in multiple categories? Yeah, you can. You can copy pages and and post them absolutely. Um, you can't. You can't. Uh, do it like post in one and it automatically appears in others, you'll have to copy them. Um, and then if you make any changes, you'll have to make the changes to each one of those pages. But it, it's super easy to copy. Um, do you guys work 24-7 in the case of something broken? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, absolutely. We want to make sure you guys are up and running and everything's available to you at all times. And uh, we take it very, very seriously. And as soon as the word goes out that there's an issue, our developers are all over it, and they uh, they let you know immediately. We're working on it, and we'll get it up as quickly as possible. And I've never been locked out of my site. I mean, for really any amount of time. Uh, I've been with Invanto now. I think I, I've been with this company for almost a year, and I have no complaints about access. None. Um, another question is: Can you blog from the platform? Or is WordPress still uh, necessarily necessary for a blog? Um, I would say that WordPress is still necessary for a blog because the blog you want available to the general public for free, and your membership site is where you want to send them if you want them to pay for content. So you give them minimal valuable minimum value in your blog, and then inside your blog you say, by the way, if you want more information and you're excited about what I'm offering you, here's a link and you can join my membership site and you'll get way more information from this membership site. So um, a great way to guide people into your membership site by giving them um, some value in your blog and then guiding them to way more value in your membership site. So can a sales page be hosted on Invanto or only on your own websites? Um, I would say that you need to have your sales page on your own website right now but um, Inventor's coming out with some really neat stuff, and I'm telling you, getting involved now, you're going to be on the front end of it, and you, you'll be the one that has the best access to the best products, and not only that, but there's some other features down the road that you may be able to financially benefit from it as well. So I, I'm, I'm honestly telling you from the bottom of my heart that I've been with this company now for almost a year, and um, the benefits that I've seen being involved have been incredible, and the features that are available through Member Factory, Coach Track, and Reward Burst are, are insane. They're out of bounds. And then all of the programs that they've got coming up are even more out of bounds. There's just no way you can go wrong sticking with Invanto. Um, can I redirect a successful confirmation to my own website? for Facebook Pixel purposes. Yeah, if you want to use that return URL and direct them to your own website, you can absolutely do that. That is very doable, Mayan. Very, very doable. And very easy. <laughs> it's just right on that, it's actually right on that um, site wizard, that, that uh, uh, sales page URL. Instead of sending them to a sales page, just send them to whatever web page you want them to go to, and that'll activate that Facebook uh, Pixel. So yeah, very, very exciting stuff. Great, great, Ryan. If you if anybody has any questions, find me in the Facebook group if you would. I would love to, if I don't know the answer, I'll send you to uh, the right people to get you the answer. 
And I'm super excited that you guys were here today. I hope I answered most of your questions as completely as I could. There were a few that were developer questions that I that I definitely won't be able to answer. But we've got developers that are fantastic and they'll jump right in and, and get to get it answered for you. Don't forget to go to bit.ly slash Shelly45 and check it out because I think you're going to be amazed at the value you're going to get for a, a free 45-day account. And, uh, and Mayan, I'm so excited that you are here. I'm excited that I got to answer some of your questions. And it is amazing information. And, uh, and I'm super glad that I got to share it with you. If there aren't any more questions, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to all of you. I hope to see you on the Facebook page, inside the forum. I'm always available for questions and, uh, and ideas. Remember, I'm an out-of-the-box thinker, so you, you probably better contact me if you'd like some out-of-the-box thinking. And I will hopefully see you guys Sunday on the next webinar about CoTrack. So hopefully I'll see you there. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you around on the Internet. Bye, you guys.